Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial video. Today, we're going to be covering importing your Steam games into LaunchBox and BigBox. Now, it's been a while since we did a video on this and we get questions all the time on how to get this up and running, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a new tutorial for 2021. It's actually pretty straightforward, but it does involve one extra step when you compare it to other PC game stores that we can import into LaunchBox. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, obviously you're going to need Steam installed. Now I do have Steam installed on the PC that I have LaunchBox and BigBox running on, and I do have a few games installed from Steam. We're going to head back over to LaunchBox. From the drop down, we're going to go to Tools, Import, Steam Games, and from here we're going to get the Steam Import Wizard. We'll choose Next, just make sure you read through everything, it'll give you a good idea on how to get this done. From here, we need to input our custom Steam URL, and this is actually easy to get. We're going to open up Steam, we're going to click on our profile name at the top, and then we'll click the Edit My Profile link on the right hand side. This is going to display your custom URL. So if we go to Steam, click on our name, View My Profile, Edit Profile, right here at the bottom is our custom URL. And you'll see it here, this is the name you need to input into that box inside a launch box. Now while we're in Steam, there's one more thing we need to do. From our profile, you can use the drop down here, view my profile, go to edit profile, and we need to set it as public. Now you can always switch this back once you get everything imported, but it does need to be public so LaunchBox can see all of the games that you own. We'll go to privacy settings, and from here, just make sure your profile and games detail is set to public. Like I said, once you're finished importing, you can always set it back to private. So go ahead and paste that in. We'll choose Next. And now, this is a little different from other PC game stores. We need our Steam API key. Every single user who signs up for Steam gets an API key. There's a link right here. We're going to go ahead and click on this. It's going to open up a browser. We need to sign into Steam through the browser. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And once you're signed in from the link we clicked on inside a launch box, you'll see your Steam Web API key. I can't give this out, it's custom for everybody. Go ahead and copy the key, and we're going to head back over to LaunchBox, and we're going to paste it right in here. Once that's pasted in, we'll choose Next. What platform are we importing games for? These are obviously Windows games, so we're going to leave it there. You can use the drop down. Next. Search for game information in the local metadata database. We can prioritize Steam metadata and force importing duplicate games. I'm just going to leave the first one checked here and choose Next. You can select or deselect any kind of artwork you don't want to download. Next. And it's detected the games I have installed, so these are going to be checked. These are the ones I already have installed on this PC. From here we can check all, check none, check uninstalled, or check installed. I just want to check installed. It's automatically going to do that for me. I think I got four games in here. Choose finish. It's going to go ahead and download the metadata and import our games. And remember, the newer versions of LaunchBox download our artwork in the background. So once it downloads that metadata, we'll be able to start up a game. And it's just going to download all of our artwork and everything in the background for us. So we can easily get up and playing much quicker than before. Actually, it looks like I had 14 games installed here. They must be on my extra drive, but uh, I'll just choose OK. And now, you can see, with our Steam games, we have a Steam icon beside each of them. So all that's really left to do is just start playing one of your favorite Steam games. So yeah, this is actually still pretty easy to set up. As you saw, there are a few extra steps we need to take when we compare it to other PC game stores that we can import into LaunchBox and BigBox, but we've tried to make it as simple as possible. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.